The Royal Rockstar This is a story of a princess who was born to the king and queen of Muzak, a kingdom alive with celebration. I present to you our beautiful daughter, Ogolin. My baby's gonna be an elegant young lady. The queen decorated Odolin's room beautifully, filling it with dolls and plushies. However, as she grew, the only thing Odolin liked was a wonderful drum kit she'd received from her uncle. <laughs> she'd play it all the time. What's this noise at 5 a.m.? Probably, Odolin. Someone, stop her! I like myself some thrash metal in the morning. The queen took away the drum kit, thinking Odolin would give up. But every surface had her drumming away. And when she was older, she found her passion in a guitar, something the queen didn't appreciate. Mother, I am going to participate in an open mic. What? A princess going to play some lead guitar? Lead guitar. You have your sewing class today. Ugh, oh, I hate sewing. Your future husband wouldn't. I don't care about what he likes. Class, go! Growing up, Odolin was put into numerous classes, but enjoyed none. One day, there was a guitar battle announced. Odolin was excited. Not telling mother this time, cause she always says no. Odolin slipped out with her guitar. She went to the event and won the battle. She grinned at the cheering crowd, holding her trophy. But little did she know, someone had followed her. Morning, Odolin. Five minutes. No worries, princess. I'm here for your guitar. My what? This silly thing has been a distraction to your responsibilities lately. But I... A princess never wakes up late. And now I know why you do. No. When do you understand me? A princess cannot play such ridiculous music. What will the town think? Odolin ran out of the palace in rage. She ran towards the lake behind her home, upset. <laughs> when I do what I love freely. Her blurry eyes didn't catch a nearby hole into which she fell endlessly. <laughs> Ugh. Oof. It's so dark. Wait. What's that? She followed the faint light and soon came upon an unbelievable sight. Is this a dream? Tons of musicians were gathered there practicing their instruments. Wow! Who that? Everyone stopped and all eyes were on Odolin. Hi, intruder. Hold up, hold up. Let's hear her out. Um... Speak! I was walking towards the lake and fell down a hole. Ooh, so you're the chosen one. What's that? Only the musically talented ones fall underground. Now, show us what you've got. I play the guitar. Ooh, country? Oh, no, rock. Rock? Nah, you're lying. Otolin picked up a guitar and played some wonderful licks. Oh, you play, play. I kind of won a guitar battle yesterday. So, you were the mystery girl. Everyone's talking about you. Well, be our guitarist. Of course. But what's this place? Underground. There's a reason there's underground musicians. We're from here. Odolin was happy to see people with similar interests. That's all I asked for. As she performed with the band, she learned new techniques. Soon, the band was adored by everybody. We've just been enjoying, and we're so close to making it big. 
Let's keep working hard. It was all rainbows and sunshine. Until this one talent show. How did Shnesta get here? Who's she? Probably the worst singer ever. The crowd booed at her. Ah, uh, boo! You too! Ha ha ha! Cuz, you're gonna love me from now on. Y'all ready? Gogo, Chris, and Dave pulled out their earplugs and gave a pair to Odalyn. Shesna began to sing. Oh, my! Everyone, brace positions. The band covered themselves and the waves intensified. After the performance, Odalyn and the band looked up and surprisingly saw the crowd cheering. What's wrong with them? Odalyn spotted that Shesna had used magic to hypnotize everyone. My magic's working. Soon, I'll be the best musician in the world. <laughs> shazam, 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 blabim. Guys, run. What's the matter? She casts a spell on stage. What? So that cloud was actually a magic spell? Yeah, and the people who were under the cloud were all affected. Honestly, guys, stop running away from Shesna. Chris? What? She's so intellectual. Oh, no. He's under the spell. Snap out of it, bud. Don't you remember how much you hated her songs? That's because y'all brainwashed me. Bye. Shesna haters, boo. Chris walked away. Dave and Gogo looked helpless. Soon, the whole crowd came to be carrying Shesna. Yes, queen! What in the world's going on? The underground was soon changed to Shesna's world. <laughs> queen Shesna's rule in the underworld commences now. Oh, I just gotten used to being here. We need to get them all back to their senses. Guys, Chris is speaking to Shesna. Oh, you divine musician, my queen. Tell me something I don't know, sweetie. I think more people should hear it. No, they don't have to. Don't worry. Chris has never been one for bright ideas. You should rule the kingdom of Muzak. What? But he's one for trouble. That sounds wicked. Let's do it. But in a while, my immaculate voice needs rest. We'd better leave. Don't you worry, Odalyn. We'll free everyone in no time. No, Muzak's my home. I'm his princess. Dave and Gogo were stunned at this revelation. So, are Guitar Heroes a princess? Anyway, there's only one person left now. Thom, who's Thom? A really, really good, good and a wise musician. musician. While the band went in search of Tom, Shesna was on her way to the kingdom of Muzak. She captured the king and queen and soon hypnotized the town. She summoned boomboxes that placed itself around the town to promote her music. <sighs> Shesna! Shesna! Woohoo! What have you done? Let our people go. La la la! La la la! Ah, no! Everyone loves me! Chris, reserve two front seats for the former king and queen for my concert tonight. Oh, yeah! Dave and Gogo led Odalyn to a room in the tunnel. Well, here's his crib, but no Tom. Ugh, we're wasting time. The clock's strumming. Clock's tick, not thumbs. Whoa, is that him? Yep. Where have I seen those designs? <gasps> Shesna's guitar. What? what? 
Odalyn recalled Shezna's guitar, having the same print as Tom's clothes. Huh? <gasps> she turned Tom into a guitar? I... I think so. Let's go to Muzak. Gogo and Dave knew the ways easily, and soon they were out by the lake. They ran out to witness the kingdom lit up. What? You think they've already bewitched? Hey, who's the best singer ever? Shazna! I'm so excited for her concert! Yep, definitely bewitched. Concert? We gotta hurry! Come on! They disguised themselves and snuck inside the palace. Eventually, they saw a well-guarded door. That's probably her room. I've got an idea. Dave strutted up to the guards and beamed. Hey guys, y'all know? Chesna's just opened her meet and greet. What? Really? But we can't. I'll guard the door for you. Chesna rocks. Chesna rocks! The guards ran off. Chesna rocks! They entered the room and Odalyn spotted the guitar. It's here! Hello? Thumb? Hello! Save me! Whoa! Odalyn realized that Tom could only speak when the guitar was played. She explained the whole situation to him and asked for help. Chesna was my pupil before she decided to go to the crossroad of evil. Since I'm the only one who knows how to break her spells, she transformed me into this guitar. Then you can help us. Yes, you have to play me in front of her out loud. Only good electric leads can break them. Odalyn can play. Me? I'm not good enough. We don't have time to discuss insecurities. Do it. Odalyn felt a surge of purpose. All right, let's crash this concert. Jezna had let loose the spellbound smoke and it slowly drifted. You'll never get away with this. I already am. <laughs> time for a break, my lovely. It was then that Odalyn stepped out on stage with her band. She plugged in the guitar and looked straight on. Shesna, look! What, honey, is that? Let's melt your clouded hearts with some real music. It is. No! The music was loaded with Tom's magic and its sheer power blew away the cursed smoke. Everyone regained their senses. Sweet mama, what am I doing here? How dare you? I'll just, ooh! No, Shaz, you mustn't. Yeah, you mustn't with whatever you're doing. Tom had come back to his usual form. Odalyn! We thought we'd lost you. Don't ever run away from me again. And I'll try to understand you better from now on. What? <sighs> you have your own talents and life to live. And I need to see you for who you are. You saving us really changed her. She thinks you're cool now. Honey. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Come meet my friends. Later on, Odalyn found out that all Shesna wanted was to be able to sing. Our kingdom's got great vocal coaches. Practice is also a form of magic. I... I'm sorry. Shesna got the help she wanted, and she soon became a great singer. And Odalyn? She traveled the world with her band, sold out concerts, and had a rocking good time. Odalyn's mom realized that all she really wanted for her was her happiness, and Odalyn was definitely 
very happy to be accepted for who she was.